हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज शंभुनाथ मिश्रा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म टास्क वन एंड टास्क टू फॉर आई एस एक्स आर राउटर सो इफ यू हैव सीन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इट वाज रिलेटेड विद आई एस एक्स राउटर्स वेयर आई हैव कॉन्फ़िगर्ड आई एस आई एस एल वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट आई पी वी फोर एट जिस एंड ऑल्सो आई एस आई एस एल वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट आई पी वी सिक्स एट जिस सो आई एस एक्स सी कॉन्फिग्रेशन फॉर बोथ ऑफ दीज टास्क आर डन बट आई नीड टू कॉन्फिगर नाउ आई एस एक्स आर डिवाइस इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज गो हैड एंड वॉच इट नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द आई एस एक्स आर कॉन्फिग्रेशन there are few differences when we talk about the configuration of isis in ios xc device and ios xr devices so let's see how, what are the differences that we have so i have this ios xr 3 uh, router which is connected with xr 2 and xr 1 router and uh, we'll just log in i'll show you the interfaces uh, you know interface configurations first so i have two interfaces physical interfaces gig 0000 and 0001 uh, ip addresses are assigned uh, show ip v6 interface brief if you see so we have the ipv6 addresses assigned as well at the same time i have uh loop back configured in ipv6 as well as as in ipv4 so that is already there and uh, so let's get started with the isis configuration here uh, we don't need to do any configuration over the interface so if you see uh the interface configuration i just have these ip addresses enabled so with this configuration interface configuration now let's get started with the isis uh, protocol configuration for that uh, command is very similar as ios xc this is uh, router isis core and then now i will have to specify the net id exactly how we did it on ios xc devices 0000000.0008.00 now i'll have to specify that what kind of address families i want this particular isis process to support as i said that i'll configure these routers for ipv6 and ipv4 both of them so i am going to specify IPv4 address family and also IPv6 address family. In IPv6 address family, basically you need to specify if you are, uh, uh, you know, going to run single topology or multi topology. So the basic difference between single and multi topology is that uh, in single topology for IPv6 and IPv4, both of these address families. you will just use a single spf algorithm uh, but if you are using multi topology it is going to be a different spf running for ipv4 and ipv6 also in case of single topology you need to have ipv4 and ipv6 addresses configured on the same interfaces but if you are uh, running the multiple multi topology one uh, what you can do is you can have different interfaces uh one is dedicated for ipv4 other is is dedicated for ipv6 so that kind of uh you know flexibility is there in i uh, in multi topology with single topology you cannot do that if you are uh having one interface which is configured only for ipv4 not for ipv6 then that is going to black hole uh the isis uh, topology so that is not going to work in isis uh, in single topology sorry so let's get uh, single topology enabled in this single topology for this uh, just a single command now i am going to get into the interfaces and enable uh, you know address families which they need to support so 
in the loopback one interface i need address family ipv4 unicast i also need address family ipv6 unicast similarly in gig 0000 i need address family ipv4 unicast and now address family ipv6 unicast and under the interface i also need to specify circuit type this is level one and uh, the network type is point to point i think that is all i'll go into interface gig 0001 interface also which is connecting towards uh, XR2 uh, here also I need to specify address family IPv4 unicast and I'm sorry address family IPv6 unicast circuit type is level 1 it is going to be a point to point network now I think I'll commit this configuration let's see if the adjacencies are coming up or not all right i have committed there was no mistake in the configuration basically uh, now let's see show isis adjacencies so i see that i have two isis adjacencies for now uh, one with 0005, one other is uh, 0007, so 7 is XR1, 5 is XR2, so I think I should be good with this configuration. Let me just quickly verify the uh, routing table. So show IP route. Okay, so I am learning loopback from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7 and 6 is myself so should be fine and what about the ipv6 routing table show route ipv6 all right this is looking good so uh, these 2222 are the loopback interfaces so i am learning it from 1 2 3 4 uh, 7 and 9 uh, the 8 one is myself I mean XR3 so I think we should be good here let me just ping uh, uh, let me just ping 1111 one of the iOS XC device alright ping is working and let me just try to ping one of the is uh, you know ipv6 loopback for example i'll ping the same router colon colon one excellent so this is also ping a bit trace let's see one 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 which path it is taking okay it is going towards So it is going out of uh, gig 0000 which is this route this interface it goes here and my 111 is sitting there uh, just one more verification i am going to ping r2 also because r2 is the router which we have configured very recently so let me just ping that it is working uh, trace 2222 two, two, two. it is going to yeah over the same interface and if I try to pin the IPv6 on R2 this should be colon colon 2 okay all right so this is also pinging if we try to see the basic verification command show ISIS yeah so this is exactly same as show ISIS protocol uh, command which we have run on ISXC device so here you can see that different address families that we have configured and what are the interfaces over which ISIS is enabled 
so with this uh, configuration we have achieved our task uh, which was configuring ISIS L1.2 point point IPv4 adjacency on iOS XC and iOS XR devices similarly IPv6 adjacency on iOS XC and iOS XR devices so the whole intention for this video was to show you the configurations on both of these uh, iOS architectures and also wanted to show you uh, that what are the different configurations for IPv4 and IPv6. So with this, I think our task is looking good. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know your questions if you have in the comment sections. Uh, and stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Uh, this is going to be a very exciting series. Uh, I'm, I have a lot of plans to put uh, many videos on SP domain. Uh, basically, I am going to f uh, follow whatever it is, uh, you know, given in the syllabus. So I think this is going to be a very nice series. Please be subscribed so that you will get a notification whenever the video comes. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Have a nice day.